What is up you guys, welcome back. In today's video we are going to be testing out some Soap & Glory makeup. Soap & Glory is a brand that started out in Boots. They started out with like bath products and stuff like that. Their scrubs are amazing, I definitely recommend you check those out. But they have brought out a pretty extensive makeup line over the past few years and I've heard a lot about it so I thought I would give it a go today. So if you guys want to see how I created this kind of cool toned grungy makeup look and all the products that I used to create it, please stay tuned. Okay, so first of all I have a moisturiser from them. This is the Speed Plump All Day Super Moisture Marvel with Hydrate 24 Watermelon Fruit Complex. Okay, so I'm just gonna chuck some of that on my face. Oh, that smells good. My skin feels really hydrated. It does feel a little bit sticky, but I actually quite like that when I'm doing my makeup, just because if I'm not using a primer, then it does kind of stick my makeup to my face more. Nice, yeah, I like that. For primer today, I have the One Heck of a Blot Primer. This one says Instant Perfecting Power Primer, Matte Spheres and Pore Shrink Technology. And it's kind of like, yeah, so it's kind of like a gel formula almost, if I just show you guys there. Okay, it doesn't actually feel silicone based at all. It just feels like a kind of thick gel. So I'm just gonna kind of massage that into my skin as opposed to pressing it in. Okay, so it says you can also dab it on throughout the day for touch-ups. So I'm guessing you can use this over like foundation and stuff like that. I don't tend to really trust primers when they say that. Like I know you can do that with the Benefit Professional, but it doesn't sit right with me. So I just tend to put it on my face before my makeup. And oh my God, that has made my skin look still kind of luminous, but it's gotten rid of like the oiliness to it. Feels nice and tacky as well, but doesn't really feel like anything on my skin. I like that. Before I go into my foundation and concealer, I have the Kick-Ass Just Bright Tired Skin Concealer. My skin is definitely tired at the moment. Oh my god, why does this always happen to me? Does the five second rule apply with makeup? I'm gonna say it does. So it's just like a little chubby stick and okay, that comes out quite purple actually. I never really use purple concealers, but I'm just gonna put that under my eyes a little bit, I think. I guess that's what you're supposed to do. Maybe just like around general, let's just put it all over my face. How about that? I'm just gonna quickly buff that in just with like a regular buffing brush. Okay, it disappears nice and quick. I don't know if it's making me look any less tired. It seems to blend out quite nicely. So it doesn't really look like I've got any purple on my face at all. I wouldn't say it does much. If, I don't know, I've got a green one as well, but I don't really have any redness. So I think I am gonna save that for a giveaway. Um, I'm guessing if you did have redness, then it would probably work quite well to do the green one. But at the moment, my skin is kind of playing ball with me. But yeah, it does seem to blend out. Doesn't really look like anything on my skin. And I guess it kind of brightened it a little bit. Um, I never really do too much color correcting personally, but it's not bad. Okay, so next, I'm kind of nervous about this because this foundation looks incredibly orange. For like the first time, in years, I don't actually have any fake tan on. Um, the sun has actually been shining here in the UK, so this is all me, baby. But I'm still definitely not dark enough to get away with this foundation. And they only have four shades, and the first two were too light, and this one was the only one that kind of looked like it could work. I mean, we've definitely used darker foundation before. I do have some mixes here that I think I am gonna have to use, but I just wanna see Maybe this could work. That is so matte. No, no. But the color is actually okay, which I was not expecting. And it says it's a fabulous, flawless, full coverage foundation. I'd say it's probably more of like a medium coverage because I have used an entire pump already and I have only covered like half of my face. So I would say it is medium coverage. This is a very, very matte foundation. So if that's your thing, then cool. You guys know I like anything with a bit of glow. So, what I am gonna do, I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like without it, but I am gonna quickly add in a little bit of the NYX Luminous Drops, just because, oh my God, I've just got this all over my hoodie. Whoops. So I'm gonna add some of that, and I'm gonna pull up my hoodie sleeve so I don't get even more on it. Give it a little mix around. I mix most of my foundations in with this stuff just because I like it so much. I'm gonna kind of focus that around the center of my face a little bit more. 
I don't mind matte kind of around the outer parts of my face, but in the center, I find I can look really, really cakey, really easy. As far as matte foundations go, I don't hate it, which is saying a lot because this is incredibly matte. Like, there is literally no shine to my face anymore. I do want to add a little bit of glow to my skin at some point. I'm going to spray a crap ton of setting spray on it after this. But, I mean, there's no shine to my face. So if you guys do like matte foundations, then this definitely does mattify. And it's a decent coverage as well. So if you can find your colour, then I actually would quite highly recommend this. Next I'm going to conceal, so I have their Kick-Ass Concealer and this one it comes with like three steps I think, it's a little bit confusing. So we have step one which I guess is like a corrector, step two which is the concealer and then you flip this little bit down here if I can do it and you've got a little powder there as well which I think is actually the exact same powder as this one and it looks really nice, like it's very very finely milled and it seems to blend out quite a lot so I have high hopes for this powder, let's go in with the concealer. So I'm just going to take this larger brush here and go in with the corrector shade. And, ooh, quite pigmented. I'm just going to kind of work that on the inner corner to brighten my eye mostly. Because that foundation did actually cover the majority of my dark circles, it's just kind of dark on the inner corner for me. And then I'm just going to take the same brush and go in with that concealer shade. And, ooh. Nice and yellow toned. It's quite light. The colour that I have, I think, yeah, mine is just in the shade light. So I think I'm just going to lay that down on my face first and then just blend it in with my sponge. Again, quite matte. I think a lot of the Soap and Glory products are generally quite mattifying. But it does work quite well. Like, it doesn't look overly cakey or anything like that. And there is quite a decent coverage to it as well. Yeah, I think that's worked quite well. Definitely looks a lot brighter on the inner corner than it did before. And my face is covered. Like, you can't really see any redness or imperfections or anything like that. So, yeah, big thumbs up so far. I'm now going to take that powder in the same compact. And I'm just going to set my under eyes with that. Even though everything does look pretty set as it is. Nice, nice. Not really doing too much, but then again, like I said, it is all pretty much set for me. This actually makes it look a lot less cakey, which is kind of alien to me because normally when I put powder on top of things, the cake occurs, but this just seems to be working. Yeah, I actually really like that. My skin actually looks pretty good. Next, I'm gonna move on to contouring. This is their Mighty Contourer, and oh, I actually thought these were powder contouring products, but they appear to be cream, so Good job I didn't powder down the side of my face just yet. So this is what the product looks like and you open it up and you have like a contouring shade and then you have a mirror underneath and then you also have like a blush and like a cream kind of matte highlighting shade. I don't think I'm gonna be using that because obviously I have already concealed but I am gonna go in with the contouring shade so I'm just gonna take the same brush that I used for concealer and okay, it looks kind of like a slightly warm tone but still cool toned enough. So I'm just going to pop that in the contours of my cheeks first and then go in with my beauty blender again if it wants to blend out. It's quite a cool tone bronzer but not in a way that it makes it look grey or anything like that. It's got like a good balance. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised with a lot of these products because I don't really use cream contour especially on its own. I don't use matte foundations. I don't use mattifying primers, but so far I'm actually really liking this. I'm then just going to take my sponge and just pop that into the blusher. It's like a nice peachy pink shade. And I'm just going to pop that kind of on the tops of my cheeks. It looks kind of intense. I'm just going to use the clean side to kind of buff that out a little bit. So I'm then going to do the slightest bit of powdering down using the one heck of a block powder, which I'm pretty sure is the same, if not very similar to the one that's in the concealer palette. So it comes with a little sponge just up here. Throw that guy away. And yeah, it does seem very, very similar. So I'm just gonna go in with a Zoeva highlight brush and just kind of pat that on the center of my face. The only downside to this foundation so far is that it does seem to be kind of gathering on my nose a little bit. 
That is like my only qualm with it. I then have this kind of blusher highlighter called the Peach Party. It says it's a multicolor blush brick. Looks a little something like this. And what I'm actually going to do is just take the same brush that I used to powder and kind of take these two pinky shades here and just apply that on my apples and my cheeks a little bit just to add a little flush of color. Yeah, that seems okay. And if I just swirl it around to show you guys, it's actually this really nice kind of highlighting shade, almost like a rose gold. What I'm actually gonna do is take a teeny tiny brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade here and a little bit of this golden one and try and highlight. Does that work? That works. Okay, I'm gonna get a bigger brush. Okay, I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have to literally pick the colors out. So kind of this champagne shade and then this more golden one. Yeah, I'd say that works. That's actually pretty intense. I'm gonna try and get a nice little glow up with this. Add a bit of dewiness back into my skin. Do they do a highlighter just for like this shade here? Because Soap and Glory, if you are watching and you don't, you should. Because that literally just looks like the most stunning wet highlighter. Okay, so next I'm gonna move on to brows. So I have a little brow gel. This is their Archery Volume Boost Brow Fiber Gel. Mine is in the shade Talk of the Brown. And, oh, it's got a nice little tiny wand. Very similar to Benefit Gimme Brow by the looks of things. This could be a little bit too light for me, but we'll make it work. Or at least we'll try and make it work. Probably should have done this before I did my foundation, maybe. I mean, I'd be happy with my brows just like that. I could do with a darker colour. But that's just like, even them up a bit, like filled in any gaps, like around here. I might have to go and pick one up in a darker colour, actually, because this seems awesome. Next, I have another brow pencil. This is their Archery Brow Pencil. My good old friend told me that this is amazing. I think it's meant to be quite similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And as you can imagine, you've got a spoolie on one side and you have got the color on the other side. I don't know what color I have, dark chocolate. And then I'm gonna take that and just kind of draw in a few extra hairs where I need them and go under the front. That's like the perfect color. If I can get the brow gel in this colour, then I'll be a happy bunny. Really nice. The fact that I'm not even saying anything is good. These are some good brows I've got going on right now. Next for eyes, I don't actually have their eyeshadow palette. I swatched it, I wasn't really that keen, the colours weren't really for me. Um, and they didn't actually have any in stock in my local boots, so I wasn't too fussed about not picking one of those up. So what I'm actually just gonna do is just dust some of that one heck of a blot powder over my eyes, just so we've got a little base going on. And then I'm actually gonna do a little look with some liner today, which I don't often do. So I've actually got an eyeliner pencil here, if I can just open it. So first of all, I'm gonna go in with their Smolder Coal Eye Pencil. And it seems to have a little sharpener in the lid as well, which is very handy. And I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this. I think I'm gonna tight line a little bit, and then maybe smoke it out. See, okay, that is actually quite pigmented. And then I'm just gonna blend that in just with a little pencil brush and just smoke it out a bit. Then do I do the same to the lower lash line? I don't wanna close up my eyes too much and put it in my actual waterline on the bottom part because that can make my eyes look really, really small, but I kinda wanna smoke out my lower lash line a little bit. I'm actually quite liking this. I never use eyeliner to like smoke out my eyes, but this works so well. Next, I'm gonna add a little wing using their Supercat liner. So, ooh, I've heard a lot about this. It's meant to be quite similar to the Kat Von D, like quite comparable. I know they do a skinny one as well, which is gonna be really good. That was easy enough. Okay, I definitely get the hype. It's not the best eyeliner I've ever used in my life. I would probably say the Maybelline Master Precise one is better, but this is good. It's giving me like a nice, easy wing. I'd say it maybe could be a little bit more black and a little bit more matte or something, but it is good. Props to Soap and Glory. Then I'm gonna move on to mascara. This is their Thick and Fast High Definition Collagen Coat Mascara, and it just has kind of like a regular wand. So I'm just gonna pop that on my lashes and hopefully it'll give me some volume. 
Definitely making my lashes thicker. Okay, it suddenly started to get good. If you just keep applying it, it kind of builds up really, really nicely. It doesn't look clumpy or anything like that, and it's definitely giving me kind of like a false lash effect. Okay, so those are my eyes done, which I'm quite happy with. I'm now going to move on to lips, and I don't actually have a lip pencil from them, so I'm just going to use my Rimmel Exaggerate East End Snob. I'm just going to fill the outer parts of my lips in with that. And then last but not least, I'm going to be filling in my lips using the Matte Lip 3D Lip Colour and Sculpt. This one is in the shade Pretty Muted. It's just like a chub stick. And I was wondering if they'd smell or anything. They don't. But good to know is that it has like a roll up top. So you won't have to sharpen it or anything like that. Ooh. Okay. Well, that was easy. Not my usual lip colour. But the way it feels, it's actually really, really comfortable to wear. It doesn't feel drying or anything like that. And I have very dry lips at the moment. And it's really smooth. You can kind of move it around on your lips a little bit. But it is definitely matte. And yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Okay, guys. So this is the finished look. Something a little bit different from me. I never just wear liner. And I never wear like cool tone colours on my lids or anything. I'm actually so surprised with the majority of products that I tried today. I love the moisturiser, the primer. I actually wanted to hate the foundation. I tried so hard to hate it, but I actually kind of like it. I definitely would wear this again if I do want a more flawless matte look. Absolutely love the brow products and the mascara is insane. I really did like the liners as well. I'll definitely be using them again. The pencil liner was really, really nice and it seems to stay kind of where it's put. Like it hasn't transferred down to my lower lash line or anything like that. This guy I loved, but mostly for the two kind of golden champagne shades. So please, Soap and Glory, if you are watching, Please come out with some kind of highlight shade for that because this highlight is stunning. It's just a bit of a pain in the ass to kind of get it in this palette. So yeah. As always, do let me know what you think of this overall makeup look and what your favourite Soap and Glory products are and if there's anything you are dying to try after watching this video. As always, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up because that helps me out a lot. And also subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload every other day. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.